for Seahawks and Bronco fans looking to curve the nerves and the anticipation, of course, before the biggest spectacle in all professional sports. There's plenty to occupy the mind in a city that never sleeps. <laughs> While the big game is in New Jersey, the Big Apple is home to the party. <laughs> 13 blocks of Times Square are blocked off for the ultimate, albeit packed and cold, Super Bowl fan experience. Oh man, 12th man, baby, all the way. We're gonna win it all today, tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Might as well do it today, <laughs> too. Do it today to know whatever. Win the day. That's right. Yay! From father and son bonding. First time that my boy actually got to come to New York and just happy that I get to share the Super Bowl experience with him. To family fun all the way some 3,000 miles away from Ketchikan, Alaska. Just anxious, the butterflies, and when you pay the price, the biggest price, you get nervous inside, butterflies, but as it gets closer, it's just anxious. We can't sleep at night. I think we slept maybe four hours a night. The 12th man has taken Manhattan as the Seahawks search for their first ever Lombardi trophy. We're somehow the underdogs. It's the year of Peyton. It would be amazing to bring home that trophy. This week, this moment, this championship opportunity doesn't come around often. Denver laughed on this stage in 1998. There's just a lot of anticipation, and this this time around, there's a lot of internet. There was no internet last time. Seattle's lone Super Bowl trip came eight years ago. It's a victory cigar. I have another one in my backpack for tomorrow. And for longtime fans of the franchise, who could forget the Kingdom days and Bronco Buffton in the old AFC West? My wife, for a time, owned an Elway jersey that she would put on a rubber chicken and shake on the end of a stick when the Seahawks would play the Denver Broncos at home. And when Raider fans are rooting for you, it just might be your year. And I hope you don't get robbed like you got robbed the last time in the, in the Super Bowl. Thank you. Man. I know about getting robbed. I'm glad you're out of our division. Stay there in the NFC West. While the weather on game day won't be as bad as originally thought, the snow's going to hold off until the wee hours of Monday morning. Perfect time for us to have a winter wonderland as Oregon Sports Final will be live from outside the stadium tonight at 11 p.m. Local time, and of course, back in Portland, 2 a.m here in New York City, so it might be a winter wonderland for OSF tonight. Hope you can join us. In New York City, Nick Krupke, Good Day Oregon.